It's Peng Pipsqueak Reads, and I have a new review. Uh, I I have some free time, and there are stuff, you know, I've been, been able to write a lot and uh, actually read a lot. I've managed to finish actually two books in just two days, which is quite amazing, at least in my opinion, since, since I'm such a huge, I'm such a slow reader. So I have a book review now, and uh, it's a vampire story. Haven't been reading a lot of vampire stories lately, and uh, that's something that I'm going to fix for this year. I'm going to read probably a lot more vampire stories uh, and review them for this year, especially since I'm, I'm writing my fourth, vamp uh, fourth book of my vampire horror series. So I need to catch up a little bit. And uh, what I finished reading uh, yesterday was With Teeth by Brian Keane. And it's a novella. It's really nice. And um, it's actually my first introduction to Brian Keane's books. I know. I know. I'm still kind of new into all this horror. You have to you have to realize when I was little, I did not have a lot of access to horror books when I was um, growing up. The only thing we had was Stephen King and didn't even get it. A lot of it and so usually it was not that great translated and it didn't really um, enthuse me a lot when I was a kid so you know movies were more my thing at the time but I digress I will remedy that because you know my friend told me that starting with with teeth by Brian Keane was actually a really good starting point for his books so I'm definitely gonna check out a lot a lot more of his books since reading with teeth because i really enjoyed that story um it's completely well it's both different and it still kind of keeps into the same vein of you know the vampire lore um it happens in uh, west virginia uh, around this time i think it seems to be like that um and um it's about these um, group of friends who are down on their, are down on their luck. Uh, they don't have a lot of money for their families, and they're trying to think of ways to um, to get more money. And so the only option that they think that would help would to cook up meth. That's everyone's solution, right? <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, that was their idea. And so uh, they decide to venture off into the forests um, where, uh, where the main characters and, their co uh, and his cousin's uh, great-grandfather kept like a moonshine stillery like way up in the woods somewhere in West Virginia. I can't remember where. Uh, so they decide to go there and see if they can, you know, use that kind of facilities to make meth and um, then they, they 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 go there and everything seems fine and then once they see a little cave there they discover that they are not alone and um, yeah and then you know horror ensues it's kind of like a a really horrifying game of cat and mouse I don't want to spoil a lot because you know it's it's a novella it's short uh but it, it's packed full of action uh and i really enjoyed that <laughs> but the thing is because um when i was reading it i and is this is in i am no in no way making fun of uh, the story or or the characters or anything like that but the entire time i was reading uh, especially the introduction uh when um uh, Brian, uh, Brian Keane is, you know, introducing the characters and everything like that. The only thing that kept ringing in my head was um, Jason Lugi from My Name is Earl. So I, the entire time as I was reading it, I kept reading it in his fucking voice. And it's probably a huge insult, <laughs> but I, that's just what happened and I couldn't help it. Um... So yeah, but it was it was fun, and um, then when it came to the description of the vampires, you know they um, they're both how should I say they're both predatory, and um, you know they look like humans, of course. They're not it's not anything like uh, like the vampires in uh, the strain 
or um, and third, uh, 32 Mouse, I think it was called, or 99 Bullets or Coffins, I can't, I can't remember the, I'm so bad with the titles. Um, but, um, you know, there are these, these, these pale creatures that have been living in these caves for so long. They have nothing but fangs and, you know, in their teeth. And, um, and, you know, they are vicious. Like, they will rip you apart. And I really, really enjoyed the descriptions, the gory detail of how they managed to rip some of the characters apart. I'm not going to say who, but they, they did. Uh, but <laughs> but then, because my brain sometimes do, does that, you know, like if I'm get, if I'm creeped out or if I'm you know if I start getting scared, my mind goes into this. Um, I have to make something funny up in order to feel a little bit better. <laughs> and and um, when I when I read the description of the vampires, you know they were their skin was just you know flappy and. Uh, gross and just really pale and they had no body hair or anything like that I for some reason started just thinking of naked mole rats and I burst out laughing it, it just felt so funny in my head I'm not sure that a lot of people probably thought that thought the same thing but it just felt kind of right you know and it made me feel like, oh, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm never going to see a naked mole rat before <laughs> ever again. Because that would be terrifying. They would look like those creatures that attack the people. Um, but yeah, uh, it was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed that story. And um, like I said, I'm definitely going to check out his uh, the rest of his books. If there's anything like that, you know, the writing style is just really easy. Uh, it's really smooth, and you you definitely know what's happening, and you know he doesn't really bother with any kind of flowery prose or anything like that, which I really appreciate because I can't stand those. Um, the only th the only thing that I probably would have um, uh, that I was like was that was my nitpick or just that bothered me a little bit was the um, what I felt was my it's just in my opinion of course was like this heavy info dump uh at the beginning of the story so he would be, be uh, he basically just dumped a whole lot of information on all of the characters and i think there were like six characters in total i think and that is a lot and um at the, but by the time i kind of had i had a i had a little bit of trouble you know keeping up with who was who and uh, and stuff like that because you know that happens when you have a lot of characters but you know with this kind of info dump i I wasn't at first able to discern who was who was who, but you know, as the story progressed, you managed to do that. And I felt like if he managed to, if he had maybe put that info, you know, gradually along with the story, because he kind of does that um, throughout the story. Like as I continue to read, I just I, I felt, you know, yeah, yeah, he, you know, there's a lot of information here that is really interesting to know, and you know, gave you more, you know, info about the characters as well, but. It happened gradually, you know. Um, so I feel like if he had done that with the rest of the characters, maybe it could have been could have been better. I mean, I felt like the the story, uh, like how the story began, was kind of like a not as good as I would have liked, you know, because of this info dumping and because you know he starts with you know. The thing about vampires, you don't you 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 don't know anything about them. You just scratch everything that you know about you know Hollywood's gives you, and just this is how it goes. And it's like, yeah, I, I mean we we get that, but yeah, a lot of people tend to do that. And I, I, I'm actually I think I'm a little bit guilty of doing that too in my own story. So uh, yeah, so I'm aware that, that this happens since in you know when you have to explain the vampires, but. Uh, other than that, I really, really enjoyed that one. And the ending hit hard. I wasn't expecting this ending at all. Um, so afterwards, when I was done with it, I also felt like, yeah, but this is a good ending. It, it hit hard, but it felt right. I don't know if you know what I mean. I don't know if any of you have read this story, but if you have, I wonder if you had the same feeling when you finished um uh, reading it is like damn that was bad and but at the same time yeah but it felt right you know 
So I definitely recommend that you guys check out this story. Uh, it's called With Teeth by Brian Keen. Uh, I'll put like a link to the Amazon the, uh, the Amazon Earl there so you can check it out if you want. Um, what I also actually I want to point out, I, I don't know if it's, it is, if it's included in the actual book because I received, uh, I think, a digital arc from the pub pub publisher. And I know I'm really, really late with this, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a slow reader, that would happen. Um, but I also, uh, in, within this package, like with the, this novella, I also got um, the uh, two short stories that were in con that kind of are connected to this story like they are the vampires in the, in you know the novella are mentioned in these two short stories and i really enjoy rereading them as well keen has a really good knack for uh, for writing short stories and yeah i definitely want to see more if he ha if he has any short story collections i'm definitely going to find it and start reading it at some point so yeah i definitely uh, recommend checking out with teeth by brian keen i definitely give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars because it was it was fast the characters were fun and endearing and the ending was really good and just the the gore was amazing it was awesome um so yeah i definitely definitely recommend that you guys should check it out so yeah i hopefully we'll see you guys next time um uh, I hope you guys stay safe and if you like what my videos are about please like and subscribe and comment i definitely enjoy that and i'll see you next time bye